Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem to 103. So in this problem it is said that the force F has magnitude 900 Newton. So this is the force F which has a magnitude of 900 Newton and it acts along the diagonal of this parallelopipede is shown right. So we need to express this force in terms of its magnitude times the appropriate unit vector, right? So we want we need to represent this force in terms of a magnitude, the product of magnitude and the unit vector, right? And we need to determine the x, y and z components of this force. So let's uh, assume that this is not origin. We have moved this origin to this point. So this is that origin, right? So let's suppose if I write that this is origin, right? And let's suppose that this is point A. So the, the line of action of this force is specified by two points. One is this origin and the other one is this point A. So what are the coordinates of this point A? So if I write the coordinates of this point A, so to reach this A from this origin, we need to travel minus 4 along the Z. So this is, this is 4. So if this is the origin, so we need to travel minus 4, right? So we will reach this point. So I will write that in the z direction we need to travel minus 4, right? And in the y direction we need to travel negative 4, right? So minus 4 meter, this is the negative y direction, right? If this is the positive y, right? So this, this is the negative y. So I will write minus 4, right? And then in the x direction we need to travel plus 2 meters. So I will write 2. So these are the coordinates of this point A, right? So now to find the force, so force vector will be equal to the force magnitude times the NOA unit vector, right? And NOA unit vector will be equal to OA vector divided by the magnitude of OA, right? So we will find this OA vector. So what we will do is that we will subtract the coordinates of the origin from each of these coordinates, right? So all these coordinates, the origin is 0, 0, 0, right? So 2 minus 0 will be 2, right? So we will be, so it will be 2 minus 0 i, right? Plus minus 4 minus 0 j plus minus 4 minus 0 k, right? So as we can see that whenever we the one point of the line of action of the force is origin, so then we can directly write this uh, OA vector in terms of these coordinates. So we can write that OA vector is directly 2i minus 4j minus 4k, right? So we can write it directly. So after this, if the one point of the line of action of the force is passing through origin, so I will write it directly using these coordinates, right? So it will be always equal to 2i minus 4j minus 4k and the magnitude of this will be equal to 2 squared plus minus 4 squared this squared plus minus 4 whole square under the root 2, right? So this NOA unit vector, this is or this is not a vector, this is a unit vector, right? So unit vector is equal to this is 2i minus 4j minus 4k and the magnitude is 6, right? So this equals to 6. So now if I divide each component of this unit vector by 6, so we will get 2 by 6i minus 4 by 6j minus 4 by 6 k right so this will be equal to the unit vector will be equal to 1 by 3 i minus 2 by 3 j minus 2 by 3 k right so if we want if we put this uh, unit vector in this equation let's suppose this is equation 1 so we will get f as the product of magnitude so the magnitude is 900 into this unit vector so it will be 1 by divided by 3i minus 2 divided by 3j minus 2 divided by 3k right so this is the force as the product of magnitude and the appropriate unit vector 
So this is one part of this problem. Now we need to find the components of this force. So f of x will be equal to the product of this 900 and this 1 by 3. So if I if if I multiply this magnitude with these corresponding uh, components or uh, these cor corresponding un elements of unit vectors, so what we will get we will get it we will get the f of x, f of y, and f of z. So if I multiply this, so this 900 into 3 will be equal to plus 300i. And this will be equal to minus 600j and minus 600k. So this is f of x. This is f of y with sign. This is f of y and this is f of z which were required. So f of x is equal to 300 newtons. f of y is equal to minus 600 newtons. And f of z is equal to minus 600 newtons. So this all is in newtons as this magnitude is in newtons, right? So this is the solution of this problem.